Ladies and gentlemen, Dean of Ohio State's Fisher College of Business, Christine Boone. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hey, I just wanted to thank you um, for this opportunity to share my but for Ohio State story. You know, I'm often asked um, why did we come back to Ohio after being away for about 40 years? And the simple answer that I give normally is that, well, I was raised here in Ohio. Um, I have uh, six brothers and sisters. I'm the uh, eldest daughter of first generation Chinese parents. And that's why we are back here. Um, by the way, I was actually certain growing up here in Ohio in the 1950s and 60s, I was absolutely certain that we were the only Chinese people in the entire world. <laughs> So you can imagine how excited I was when I took my first geography class and I learned that there was an entire country named China, <laughs> that there were a billion Chinese people living there. Wondered why they weren't in Ohio, but uh, I was pretty, still pretty excited. So the narrative that I invented for myself was that um, the reason that we were in Ohio was that when my dad asked my mother, where do you want to settle in, raise the children, she said Oahu, my dad, who was a good listener, said, thought she said Ohio, <laughs> and that's why we're in Ohio. <laughs> but, you know, the real story is that my mom's father, my grandfather, um, was a Buckeye. He, uh, his name was Wading Tom, and he enrolled here at Ohio State about, a hundred, about almost 100 years ago. He uh, got his uh, engineering degree from what was then called Ohio State University's College of Arts, Philosophy, and Science. And uh, he became the first in his family to graduate from college. Now, there's another family legend that my grandfather also played football here at Ohio State. That's my grandfather. See, he towers over my grandmother. <laughs> Now, I, I stared at these family photos for hours. This was a time when I still believed in Santa Claus, still believed in the Tooth Fairy. And I have to say, even as a child, I began to seriously doubt this particular piece of family <laughs> legend. So anyway, not long after he graduated he, uh, he, uh, from Ohio State University, he returned to China. Um, he returned as a US citizen with all the optimism and hope in the world um, that this college education would open doors um, to incredible opportunities back in China. And it did. Um, he first became a university professor. He went into academics and became a professor at Sun Yat-sen University. And later, only later, did he start a, a career in business. He married, um, he began a family, um, and he would eventually go on to have a family of six, including my mother, his second child. But then in the 1930s, war broke out in China and all those prospects for a life of opportunity in China suddenly began to look impossible. But for Ohio State, but for his American citizenship, but for the vast network of friends and connections that he made here, he would never have been able to escape China at that time, come here to the United States and eventually settle in Hawaii um, to raise his family. I never knew my grandfather. Um, if he had lived, he would have seen his children grow up, one to be a nurse, another an architect, a teacher, a social worker, a scientist. He would have had a chance to see his daughter, my, my mom, um, become that nurse and then be able to raise her children in this land of incredible freedom and opportunity. And I like to think that today, he would, be, he would have been proud of his granddaughter, me, and I think he would be smiling this huge smile to know that I'm back here in Ohio, back here at Ohio State, back here where for him it all began. So the real reason then that we came back to Ohio after all these years was in some way to give back, um, to give back to this incredible public institution who so many years ago gave a young Chinese man who was without wealth, without connections, gave him the opportunity to study here to earn a degree. He was made to feel welcome. Um, he made friendships and relationships that many, many years later would make all the difference in the world to him, 
my family, and of course me. Because of Ohio State, everything became possible. I, I cannot thank this public institution uh, more. I thank you for taking this, these moments to listen to my story. Thank you.